Okay, hi guys. Now a lot of you have been asking about MetaTrader 4. You want to learn more about MetaTrader 4 and how you can use it for your trading? Well, here's your gift now. I got this video from Creative Commons, so it's a very good video, especially uh, talking about the stop orders, okay, in MetaTrader 4, which we use for our robot. And if you want to join us, you have to do this uh, trade in detail. Here it is. And then you can look at the main video where I show you how to interact with the signals that I give on my Telegram group for free so that you guys can start learning correctly about Forex and how we use AI to anticipate where the Forex pair is going. Remember with stop orders or the other side is also limit orders, you don't enter your order at market. You wait for the market to come to you, then you enter your order. Of course, in all of this, remember money management is very important. See you guys on the inside. Please note that this show is only for educational purposes. All trades that you see here should be taken first in a demo account and is meant to reduce your learning curve. Having said that, should you want to take real trades, you should consult your financial advisor first. Although I do trade real accounts, I'm not recommending any of these trades for you. It is up to you if you want to follow me and take it in demo accounts. Thank you very much. Hello guys, welcome to the video where we're going to discuss order types in MT5. Now I've decided to create a separate video about this subject simply because uh, in MT5 we have been introduced to these two types of orders that we can see. I'm not going to bore you with uh, all this. This is basically taken from the MKO5 website. You can find all that information uh, in the help file as well, so you can go ahead and read it. But what we're going to do here is go ahead and explain the differences between these orders. So the four types, the four type of uh, orders that we have previously, uh, as we know them from MT. 4 didn't change, right? So let's go ahead and cover them very quickly. Buy limit is basically type of order where the current price is moving right here. We want to see the price giving us a pullback, a move down, okay, to go to lower levels. And this is where the actual order is going to be executed. This is where we're going to enter a buy trade, right? This is what the buy limit order is. Buy stop, on the other hand, is very useful when it comes to breakouts. Let's say you have a range, okay, current price is here, and you're looking for a breakout above this range right here, which means if the price crosses this level, I would like to go ahead and buy it exactly there on this level. And this is where buy stop order comes in play. Okay, then we have, <coughs> excuse me, sell limit and sell stop. Pretty similar situation, just vice versa again we have the price moving here okay we want to go ahead and trade the pullback we're currently in a sell uh sorry in a bearish momentum we're looking for deeper pullbacks and this is where the sell limit comes in play if the price the current price moves a bit higher it reaches the zone that we want to see reached this is where the sell is going to be executed and our expectation is that the price will continue then lower. Uh, on the other hand, we have the sell stop where we can give again the example of the range. We're looking for a breakout below this zone, which means we're going to put a sell stop order right here. And if the current market price drops below the level we have specified, we're going to execute a sell order right here. <coughs> In other words, what we can uh, conclude here is that those four types of orders have one condition only, the price to move up or down, and this is where we're going to execute either the buy or the sell. Okay, so far so good. I believe this uh, is simple, okay, and you probably already know these kind of things. Now, the more interesting part comes with the new orders which were introduced to us, namely the buy stop limit and the sell stop limit. Now, in very simple terms, we can think about these two orders as two condition 
order. Okay, we need to see two things happening before the order is actually executed. So when it comes to buy stop limit, for example, imagine this is the current price right here. And what we are telling the MT4 platform to do is, first of all, wait for the price to go and reach that level. Okay, condition number one. Then let the price move lower a bit, reach that zone. And only here, I want you to execute my buy trade. Now, on the other hand, we have the sell stop limit, which is doing a very similar thing, just uh, in the opposite direction. This is where the current market price is moving. And we're telling them for platform to do the following. Let the price reach that zone, first of all, this level right here. Then, if it provides a pullback to the upside, this is where I would like to see uh, my sell order being executed. So why is this useful? Very simple. Let's say again, let's give uh, the example with the range. You're moving in a range and the most classical, probably uh, idea of trading the, the ranges uh, when it comes to breakouts is this. So you have a resistance, you're waiting for the price to break and then you're looking for this pullback to retest the breakout and this is where you want to execute the trade. So let's say it's in the evening, you identify the range and you know that you're expecting some moves during the night. This is where the buy stop limit order comes in play. So this is where we say, okay, let's first of all have a breakout, let the price reach this level, okay, with the breakout. And then I would like to go ahead and trade the pullback, which is basically going to give you the ability to do so by using the buy stop limit order. And that is where your buy order will be executed. Same story is happening with the sell. Let's say you have a range of some sort, or you're waiting for a low to be broken. This is where you can say, okay, let the price break below this low, let it move downwards. Then I would like to see the pullback towards this zone right here and this is where I want my sell order to be executed okay uh, in the beginning when I was reading uh, the way they explained it it doesn't really become very clear okay but uh, once you apply it to the chart and you start using it it's actually pretty obvious and pretty helpful I have also provided here a screenshot okay of how to actually fill the order and the details so let's say we're talking about buy stop limit those are the two conditions as we said previously that we must fill in the first one is the price okay so basically what that means is if the price reaches 147.48 and currently this is our price right the bit and desk so what i'm telling here the MT5 platform is if the price goes ahead and reaches that level then wait for a pullback okay set my buy order at that price so what I'm expecting to see is push reaching 147 was that 147.48 then wait for a pullback and if the price comes to this zone, okay, the stop limit price, then this is where I would like to see the, the buy order being executed, okay? Uh, another example for the stop, stop limit order, again, similar situation. This is where the current price is, okay? And what we're telling the platform is, if the price reaches 147.31, which is right here, then wait for a pullback towards 147.50, okay, and only then execute my sell order. So the two fields that we need to focus on when uh, setting this kind of orders is the price, which is condition number one, and the stop limit price, which is condition number two. Of course, stop losses, take profit, this is all self-explanatory. Uh, along with the volume right here. So 
that would be all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope uh, it's now clear how these two new orders introduced to us work and how